Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Being that uh, yeah. this is the first time with the autopilot, just trying to figure out trailering. So this is a Malone Mega Sport. I'll be putting a bunk kit on this side for the uh, big water, and I have one for the autopilot. I have spent most of the morning just adjusting things. I think. I'm trying to support, you know, have as much contact along the length of the hull as possible. So I'm in more contact along that central, uh, if you want to call it a groove in the land, I guess this would be your land, but I don't know what you'd call that, the keel portion, uh, along the edges of it. Um, and then as much as I can here on the outside of my bunks in contact with the hull as well, just to take as much of the weight of the boat along its length as possible. I might have to adjust the stern of the bunks because they're not in contact with the, uh, on their outsides. But I've angled it so that we're kind of at that angle of the, that W hull. And I'm happy with the way I have it. And I'm just hoping that I don't damage anything by transporting it this way. Now in looking, I might be beneficial to run another plank Right down here, as long as it contacted the boat and we had support in a few different places, the more weight we can support, the more we can spread that weight out over a, a surface area, the less stress we're putting on the hull. So I may do that. That, uh, it's got to see what the thickness is. And it's probably not going to contact right here close, but along the length where you can see it's flat on bottom. I think we'll try that, maybe. Just a sec. You know what? That works. And I may just uh, figure a way to install this on my crossbar. Maybe go with a carriage bolt. So we've got a, nothing that's going to scratch the hull on top. Maybe countersink it a little bit down through. Single carriage bolt on either end. And now I'm super supported. I like that a lot. Cut this to length maybe. Or maybe leave it. I don't know. If that works. Let's get another... Uh, Tanatone uh, treated board. Put one in, on either side. I really like that. And it's, it's in contact most of the way. And I like, I don't know, wood has a little better impact strength than, uh, than the sewer pipe that I've got for a storage cradle. So yeah, I like this. All right, so that's kind of how I'm going guys with uh, trailering. I think this is gonna work out just tremendously. All right, you got any questions, let me know. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably drill through my crossbar on top um, and carriage bolt so that's going to be probably a three and a half inch carriage bolt i'll get one of these for the other side and uh, we're golden i like it okay so here's the finished product we've countersunk holes on the top so our carriage bolts aren't going to be rubbing on the hull as we put the boat on and off gone through the crossbar on the malone mega sport it's all galvanized because this is going to be used in salt water and fresh water put a washer on the bottom side a uh, a split washer to lock in that galvanized nut and then i've used blue loctite as well because i really don't want these coming off on the highway so this is going to support the flat portion of that w hull here and then the angled portion we'll put the boat up and i'll show you but this is essentially supporting it as much as we can along the hull both in the two channels and along the bottom of the hull so the more support we can give the less pressure is going to be on any one point on the boat so we'll be right back we'll put the boat on and show you I'm really happy with that. So it's the uh, large bunk kit from Malone in the middle, and then uh, I've just got some some pressure treated on the uh, on the outsides, and uh, we are supporting that boat in a bunch of different ways. And I'm really happy with that. I'm not worried about any of this breaking. 
uh, with impacts. There's a lot of flexure in the wood um, and it's got really good impact strength as well. So I, I'm leery about PVC pipe, uh, schedule 40 or 80. I don't know if there is a 40, but I, most guys go schedule 80, but I don't know. I, it doesn't have great impact strength. And we're gonna be, you know, it's still fairly cold here in Canada, which increases the, the brittleness of that stuff. So the wood is gonna stay fairly ductile regardless. And I'm not gonna have to worry as much about it. So that's kind of why we go that way. So anyway, that is my setup for the uh, Autopilot 136 bunk system on, on a trailer. So if you have any questions, give me a shout, but it's really simple. Carriage bolts, the Malone large bunk kit in the middle, and we've essentially made a W cradle for this catamaran style W hull. All right, thanks for watching.